track the UFO landing site to an isolated location in the countryside. We should move in and secure the site before the aliens have time to regroup. Maybe time to invest in a laptop, but not not by uh not by Thursday. All right, what do we have? HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Block or video blown? No, I don't think we'll be doing that. I don't see much of a reason for that. All right, where the hell are we on this map? Okay, this is oh, this is the. I remember this map. This map is like, you get this is not a bad spot for this map because there's actually hard cover in here, but you get crazy amounts of aggro potentially on this map. Talk to the Yogcast while I'm out there. We'll see. I'll be attending some uh, attending some uh, sessions. It's like a professional conference for streamers. <laughs> There's like all these sessions that are like how not to like die a horrible death as a streamer. Um, how far forward do we want to move? All the way up? Yeah. What could go wrong? Don't mind a sight with those trees, if I remember correctly. Yes, sir. Got it. get those snipers flying if we're gonna engage here in any length of time but I need to have something scout out there sure before I do that which will be the scout next turn I think That's I've done it so for the sixth month in a row man all sorts of big resubs today thanks guys cheers for that Thank you very much, Lockdown, for the continued support, man. All right, what do we have over here? Moving. No hard cover anywhere. It's depressing. Okay, that's a trap because you can't look left. This looks pretty bad because this looks like it's blocking a lot of the line of sight right there. I want to move the snipers over here and then lift them up so they're floating about mm, here maybe. Looks pretty good. Still be in trouble with that stupid thing over there. Roger, tracking.
mixed memories about this map. Sometimes I remember it being a lot of fun, sometimes I remember it being absurd. I assume I can suppress with this. Didn't actually check. I don't know if I actually can suppress with that weapon. I really hope I can. There's no reason why I haven't. Yeah. Okay, this is what I remember. Aggro on the side being really annoying. It's really too bad that is not hardcover there, so I could stealth him. I could stealth him. I could run to there and stealth. That'd work. Which more map is there? It's a chunk though. Run to there and sell. Yes, the sneaky fox over here. That's a sectopod too. So all this moving to cover means nothing to the sectopod. The sectopod just laughs at your cover. I don't want it destroying all this cover too. I don't know what would happen on this map if the sectopod killed all this cover. Like, what I what I be able to do at that point? I just have to like sit there and lose. Doesn't sound glorious. I don't think I can actually suppress on this guy. I think suppression. No, I have to say no targets. Maybe I can. I guess when you have the wrong weapon, it doesn't let you do that at all. Everybody, what does this horrible thing do? Septipod destroyer, the ammo cluster bomb, cannon fire. Pair servos, hit and run. Right. Any reason not to kill it this turn? I think so. So, we shredder. Like that. In the zone, every single one of those, and shoot the sectopod, and then kill the sectopod. You don't even have to shredder. You could shredder with, uh. Chung Meng. You can't actually see it from here. One tile out of range for him. Ooh. Is he gonna be out of range for everybody else then? Could just regular rocket. Oh, if we shredded with him, have to run the Overwatch. We're gonna have to move anyways. Like there, I guess. It's only one Overwatch. I can double tap if I move, right? Affirmative. Okay, 100%. I 
that gets the shredder on it. You can never react it, right? regular rocket. Well, the Shredder might be useful. I mean, it might just clear out this shit and make it totally viable for everybody else. The question is, do we have enough damage to kill a Sectopod without a Shredder? How many of these little bars does it have? It's hard to count these. One, two, three, four. Man, I literally have to, like, use the mouse or I immediately lose track visually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. That's eight. So eight fives are 40 with uh, one extra. So it's 41 health remaining. He's Shredded, but I don't think he's gonna, I mean... I guess we can play around it a little bit, deciding. Take a shot here, for example, first. Okay, how much damage is this gonna do? Eight. No, I think we're gonna wanna rocket that. I don't know, actually, we have Joker. This is a mayhem precision shot. A 99% crit chance on a shredded guy. Let's have a look. What's that gonna do? Yeah, 33. No problem. Not even a fucking problem. Alright. I'm gonna need to rock it at all. This is Tasui. Oh, there's a 10 hit point drone and 9 hit point drone in there. They're all flying though. the zone through this. Highest to lowest hit points. He's got mayhem. So he's a max level sniper and he has every damage. He has vital point targeting which is two damage. He has mayhem which is four, hit four damage. He has precision shot which on a pulse rifle is plus three damage. He has uh, ranger which is one damage. And then he has the the, the thing that gives him an extra damage on crits, uh, not only Precision Shot that does that, because Precision Shot adds damage from crits, but also he has the, uh, whatever the targeting the uh, targeting device is, which uh, target, you know, gives him 1.5 damage on crits, and then he also has that, which is a shredded target, so big, big damage on a single target, right? Meanwhile, Tasui, clearing all the fucking drones. Alright. We can reload. We have in the zone. We can clear the rest of those too. I'm just gonna see if I want to kill one hammers. You can't see the one I'd like to give him. He's the only one who needs to level here. Everybody else is max level. Nah, that's not true. Gemma Curve's not max level. Uh, let's try to level here. We have to get two hits in a row on this guy. Nice. And how about this one? That can be Tatsui. Because Tatsui could have done six in the zone shots and killed every single one of those on his own. I was just trying to see how much damage I had to have left to deal with the sectopod. Until okay. autopsy the deer. I had not thought about that. Okay. We saved our rocket, so that was, that's what I was trying to look at. Do I need to shred a rocket, regular rocket, or just not rocket at all? I think these crit builds did me good. Yeah, I think so too. I don't know if this is a. I still don't know if this, like this can be a trap, right? All landed larges can be traps, and I have no idea if this is a trap or not. I mean, that was a pretty big pack. But was it just a landed large pack? It could be. Sectoid's moving over to the left with the most annoying thing. Oh, he just double aggro. This is actually a huge pack. This might be a trash, by the way. Okay, this is what I remember from this map. I remember this map being a swarming 
pain in the ass, right? Is it time to leave? This is probably a trap land at large. Can we get everyone there if we had to leave this turn? Can we fight this with that many berserkers? So what aggroed this turn? This turn, five sectoids, five mutons, two mectoids, three muton berserkers, and eight heavy floaters aggro. You know, the scariest part of this, the berserkers we could kill this turn, we have to kill them because they still one-shot me even in Titan at this stage of the game. So the berserkers have to die, and they have a lot of health between them, right? If we were just looking at that, we just killed that sectopod, this has 20, this is 20, 30, this is 35, this is 36. So this is like 72 plus another uh, 35. So we're looking at, what do we say, 76? That's 106, is what, 111? Something like that. Ugh. Over 110 hit points on that group right there. And, yeah, that's a war master right there. It's a lot of hit points on this too. Yeah, the snipers aren't. There's no really for the snipers to run. I don't know if the snipers will be able to get there though. <laughs> Look at this target list right now, Bulldog. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. He can hit there's there's fifteen guys in range of him. <laughs> oh man. I think I need to leave. Can we get out? Get out on the scout. Can we get out on Joker. I don't know. Can't tell where my movements are. I think we can. I think we can get out on Joker. Get out on Tsui. Yeah. I don't like giving them a land at large. I guess I did take one of their bases. But I don't think I can kill this realistically. I think I need to evac. And this is this is exactly what I remember from this map. Exactly this scenario, not the evacing, but just like one minute you're fine, and one minute everything on the map aggros. Yeah. Right. Even assuming because we can, we can the mutons we can deal with the mutons we can deal with with smoke dense smoke right and hard cover. They'll be annoying, but they're probably not going to do a lot of damage. Some of them will overwatch, some of them will shoot at us, but mostly it won't be a big deal. The Berserkers are a problem. The Mectoids are much more accurate, and they hit much harder when they hit. They're probably out of range this round, but they'll definitely be in range next round. They might even be in range this round. But it's the Heavy Floaters. The Heavy Floaters have... Each of them has a grenade, and there's eight fucking grenades there. You guys want me to... You guys want me to play it out? I think there's there's a pretty good suggestion in chat. Alright, so here's a suggestion in chat. I think we're gonna do that, because why the fuck not, right? Alright, we're evacing. So we're gonna save right now. We're gonna evac. And uh, we're gonna leave. And let's uh let's demonstrate what happens, right? You guys wanna see the soldiers die? I mean if we do have AoE suppression, we could probably suppress like half these fucking Well, maybe not, we're gonna get flanked if we do that. I don't, and I don't actually know how large AoE suppression is. I might be able to suppress three floaters there. If I target the middle one. We have to kill these berserkers though. Alright. So kill berserkers. We need to smoke grenade then chem grenade. We have... Oh, I didn't bring chems on Captain Aramis because I don't tend to bring chems on larges. So I don't actually have a chem for those. So that has to be a shredder rocket. Alright. So it's a position from here. We need to shred that. Like that. Alright, we're leaving, by the way, guys. We're leaving. But, we'll play we'll play, out, play this out. We gotta kill the Berserkers first. Berserkers are top priority threat here. And it's, and it's not even because... The, it's not even much to do with the fact that... Oh yeah, we're gonna get mechanic, probably. Or crashed. Wow, my computer did not like that. I don't know what that was about, why they all just did it like that. Okay. No panic, good. Did you, see, did you guys see the incredible amount of chop? I don't have fucking precision on this turn, it sucks. Okay, what do we have odds-wise odds here? 100%. They're shredded. And it's a 69% chance to crit. I can't make that higher. Because they are... As they are. We gotta get rid of the Berserkers first. 
These are landeds. Landed. Fuck, this is, those would be so beautiful to kill. 100% chance to hit, 100% chance to crit if we could do that. We have to kill the Berserkers first. I was actually okay when the, 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 the guys, the Mectoids rolled up and the Heavy Floaters rolled up. I'm like, alright, we can do this. It's gonna suck, but we can do this. But then the Berserkers rolled up and it's just like, we can't deal with all three. So. Uh, alright. Well, maybe. Hold on. We do have the advantage of Bulldog. And that being pretty damn ridiculous. We have the Sentinel build, right? The Gunner Sentinel build is amazing versus Berserkers. You just have to get them to move. And maybe he should have actually taken his shot before I, uh... Another one now? Where is it? Not that one. Is it 78? Does that one have an additional perk? Not that I see. It's disappointing. What the fuck did you just say? Alright, where's my scout? The scout's gotta do something pretty similar. Just to back up. And trigger the muton to move. Uh, I need to shoot it again with the. Uh... Wow, 64 is not so good. Good enough. Need to trigger the Overwatch again. Okay. I wonder if I suppress them. It does damage. Does the damage make them move? I kind of wanted to suppress though over here, like a group of them. I guess I can use Tsui to clean house here a little bit if I had to. Will he do 11 to this? That's scary, because I need Tsui to start doing damage to the floaters. Except they're not flying, I'm not going to get multi shots off them anyways. Alright, we'll try this. I think that will kill. In the zone through the berserkers. Alright, so berserkers are dealt with. Now I need to deal with the rest of the shit. We used our rocket already. It's pretty bad. And our infantry is done as well. It's 100, 100 for crit, right? 59, 100, 100. Which one's the war leader? That one. He's the scariest by far. I might just want to try to suppress him if I can see him. I actually can't see him directly. And the problem is if I suppress this guy, who probably suppresses the leader next to him, is that um, he's going to run. Because he's uh, he's not flying or or in cover, so it means uh, when you suppress him, he'll he will move. So that's unfortunate, and I still have that berserker too. The berserker is probably not going to die here though at 59% chance to crit. I'd need to force that into a crit. I don't have any way to remove that cover this turn because the rocket's already gone. Um, and honestly, I'm much more scared of the berserker than I am the the muton. So, all right, uh, or I could double tap here. It might actually be better. Let's shoot here once. Okay, it shreds it, does a good amount of damage. Let's double tap on the other one now. Shreds it, hollows it, and hopefully does a good amount of damage. Nice. That might be enough to end the zone then with the Sui now. Alright, this let's try the 10. Am I, I'm probably only doing 8 damage at this point. They're not considered flying because they're. So I don't get the damage bonus. So that's 9 before Shredder. Alright, we'll try that. Okay. Reload. Take the fourth in the zone shot here. Okay. Alright. So 
I got two of the two of the eight heavy floaters, but eight heavy floaters is a lot. All right, what do we have left? We have another shot in Tasui and a shot in Joker here. We've killed the easy targets there. Well, maybe not. Let's see. What is Tasui? See, 82, 82, 52, 82. There's one in the back. This one is uncovered as well. So if I in the zone kill that, that is another free action. So let's attempt that. Let's put a shot on it from Joker, the one in the back. 100% one to crit. That should do a ton of damage. Okay, 20. That should be enough for Tasui to kill it now. Okay. Okay, and you can see his damage is almost down to zero right now because he's just shot five times in a row. Alright. So now it's two actions left. It's Captain Aramis. He's going to need to double smoke here. One here, one here. I really need to smoke the snipers too. I don't know if I can. Sometimes it lets you do that. I just saw it. You guys see it? I saw it. Don't lie to me. I saw the bounce. They don't look like they're smokable. Um, the other thing we could do is smoke once in command, but I actually think getting the smoke out this turn is more valuable, because we got two rounds of that, and we're going to need all the rounds of that we can get. So let's smoke uh, like this. Getting the berserkers down was important, and getting as many, because we're going to get massively grenaded over there, right? There's no way we don't get grenaded. And there isn't really anything we can do about that, because there's no position to fall back in in this, this start location. Well, they're flying and unlikely to be flanked. It's not a good spot for them, but... Oh well, I could move. Take a shot. 82s aren't bad. But I need to reload next turn if we do that. I think it's probably better to reload here, because we're already five shots in on Tasui, right? He killed both the Berserkers, and then he killed three... Yeah, so he's at minus six damage. Minus five damage right now. I think it's better to reload. All right, and that's our first turn. Let's see how fucking bad it is. There's a lot left. There's a million sectoids, all in flanking positions. There's two mectoids, and there's f uh, four or five heavy floaters. I've forgotten. So. Okay, that mectoid has just made itself a huge threat. I hope that was a sprint. Please be a sprint. Because I can see the snipers from there. Okay. Lucky. Second mech toy doing the same thing though. That's really very lucky. 250s. Okay, there's a heavy floater. Can see the snipers from there. <laughs> Still lucky. Is that a grenade? No, it's suppressing. It's a launch. Okay, launch is kind of hard for this group to deal with. I don't have any more mobile damage with this group. Okay. Okay. Let's call. I can still see the fucking snipers. Then that's the fourth shot over over fifty percent that's missed. Snipers are in really bad shape. Yeah, they finally got hit once. Considering they got fired on, I think five times, they only got hit once. That's really really lucky. All right. No panic, which is good. Although Joker's really low. So. Alright. Alright. Uh, what do we need to do this turn? Where's the suppression right now? The one at up, up. From here, right? No, actually, my sniper's not suppressed at all. He suppressed uh, Bulldog, I think. probably too many things we have to do this turn. We need to rocket out to here and kill this whole group of guys. The mechtoids on the side are, are going to be 
too much for us. Um, we need to kill this guy because he's right in our face. He's landed though. He's do it. That's doable. You know, it's not amazing. I'm just gonna do that. We move this guy's this guy's the not. So I can move this guy. Does this asshole have? Uh... No, he does not have anything to do with close combat specialist, right? That guy is not the end of the world. Chung Meng is suppressed though. Wouldn't it be terrible to suppress there with Chung Meng? That guy's gotta die, right? He's actually harder to kill. He's flying even though he, no, he's not flying. He's in cover, but it's indestructible cover. We can't get through that. Uh, Bulldog is suppressed, right? Yeah. Okay, and actually thinking about that, like that's. I'm looking at like, oh, we can kill these. We can kill all those, but the problem is we can't kill them and these. This is the one that's gotta go. This is the bad, bad news. Um, I actually kind of think. Where's the buff coming from? I do here. Mechtoids are really big meat shields in terms of damage, but they kind of have to die. I suppose I could quick range. Is he being suppressed by this guy? No, that guy. Could we move? Aggro is from there. Might be able to move there and do it. Might let me suppress the mechtoids. Giving me shredder and hollow on both of them. And shred then rocket. Okay, it doesn't give us a response to this guy. Alright. Doing that. 46, it's pretty high. Alright, miss. Running at 28 as well, what is that? That hit us. Okay. Don't no panic. Oh, we aggroed another pod doing that. <laughs> that would be bad. Alright, let's go ahead and suppress here. Nope. No, 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 I want the mechtoids. Yeah, that's what I want. Right there. Okay, that's what I wanted, the Shredder and Hollow Target across the board there. Right. Then it's a rocket in here. Ooh, sniper first maybe. Where's the scout? We're looking to battle scan the guy giving him the buff so we can kill that. We've, we've, already, we've already chosen to evac, guys. We're, we're doing this from a request from chat to play it out just to see what would have happened. Okay, and actually the guy doing the mind buff is, is uh, unfortunately in cover. I was really hoping he wouldn't be in any cover at all. So that's not going to help at all. Alright. So, <laughs> the sniper sees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. I have 20 targets on the sniper. Alright, we do have precision up. Oh, I have the rocket next, don't I? Okay. Let's try the rocket next. Oh, we could. No. Let's do that. Alright. Oh, and it didn't hit. It fucking went off course. That would have been disastrous for us. We got no damage on the mechtoids. Although we did, no, we didn't kill that guy's cover either. He's just standing out, no cover. No. Well, that would be pretty disastrous too. All right, I would move here to kill this guy. This guy's too close. It won't kill him either. I'll do one shot. I'll leave him at one health. I'll leave him at enough health. Might even better shoot twice like that. Probably not. Probably not. Go here. The flank on him. It's nowhere near enough. Yeah, it would be pretty tough. We could. 
Okay, that's that's hugely disastrous. We could have an amazing in the zone string on Tsubi again and kill like two of these mutons, two or three of these floaters. I mean, are the floaters flying or are they just sitting on the ground right now? They're just sitting on the ground. Let's find out. Where are they? Why can't I see any of the floaters? I can. Are they considered? Without the rocket hitting the mech toids, it's a lot less good of a position in terms of trying to kill them. We could probably still kill the one. I mean, if we precision it right now. Okay, what's that? Okay, let's do that next. Which one is this one? It's one with no shield. That's the one with shield, so it's two back. That one. Alright, so we hit him for 49. Takes him out. And then... <laughs> what of it? Is this 49? 49 is not a good one. Alright, we have to do it through our list here now. Okay. Start the highest we're gonna do. I love it. Okay. And again. And again. Seven? He was shredded, I assume he hit harder than seven. He must not be getting this shredder effect. I just screwed up my in the zone. Is he not getting shredder effect? No, he wasn't. I looked at that thinking he was shredded and he wasn't. Okay, well, I just fucked up my in the zone. I can start it up again by commanding. He's gotta reload so it wouldn't work. What's next? We gotta get rid of um This guy's gotta die. We're actually pretty pretty light on actions right now. Shoot again. Do you have command up? We're gonna need to command. Wait, let's smoke the snipers. Yeah, right there, right there. That's what I was looking for last turn. No, don't move. There. No. Does, does it count? Smoker, are they actually No. No, they're not smoked at all. I don't know where that smoke is supposed to be, but it sure as fuck doesn't cover the snipers. Seriously? Okay, let's try it again. I need a command here, though, that's the problem. This is doing it again. Is it actually doing it? Let's find out for science. It looks like it went off in exactly the same location. I hit him for 11, that's really good, but it's not enough. What's happening? I don't know exactly.
exactly know what's happening right now. Okay. Is Joker the crit sniper? But I'm pretty sure neither of those smokes actually hit the sniper, which meant the medic did nothing that turn. And he really needed to command the infantry. The dog is like single handedly crushing everything. He's out of ammo now. Okay. He just missed a 92%. Why aren't we this lucky normal? Oh, he's got two of them. That sucks. Okay, that's probably Chung Meng dies first here. Yeah. We're getting grenaded. I've been waiting for the grenade for a while. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty bad. All the follow-ups are against someone in no cover. He's now flying behind us. All right. We couldn't. We really needed not to fuck up the end zone. But the problem is again, this is what we knew the problem was going to be, right? Once we saw the mechtoids and the heavy floaters show up, it became and the mute berserkers it was too much because we could probably do any two of those packs in two turns before they get in the pants when we're totally flanked there's no way we're gonna get all three of those packs before we get flanked That rocket missing was pretty bad last round. Okay, double drops down now as well, so we're out of rockets. No panic jet though. Alright. We lost two that round. Snipers did not get shot at though, that's fairly interesting. Alright, first things first. We need to reload on Sasui. Dogs out of ammo, we're gonna reload. Okay. One hit points on hammer. Needs to kill this. I need more for covering fire at all. Okay, we gotta get rid of this other one that's flanking everybody. The guy who can shoot twice, the War Master, is a huge problem too. Not a lot I can do about him though. Uh. Right, where do we want to use Joker's shot? Let's see what has to happen next. No, besides getting through the evac one. Um, we're out of smoke, so we gotta get smokes off. There's gotta be at least one there, probably one there. Snipers are still. Are they in smoke, by the way? Can we check again now? No, there's definitely not smoke still. We hit two smoke grenades on them that claimed that they were smoked. And neither of them have actually been smoked. I don't know why they weren't shot at. No, Sikun, I'm, um, we, this, we're doing this for chat. Chat asked me to see what would happen if I had stayed. We are evacing the mission. That's what, that's what, that was our decision when we got the first, after the, with the, the turn where three packs aggroed at the same time, our decision was to leave. So that's what we're gonna do, but we're we're playing it out like like we had uh, stayed. We're getting brutally murdered right now. All right, I guess I gotta put damage on this guy, and that might actually be Joker's shot because it's gotta die. It's too close in the back. Even though he'd much rather be shooting other things. Oh, he can't see it. Makes no difference. Okay. War master be a good. No, he can't see it. It's right there. 100%. Okay. Okay, he just one shot that. That's pretty good. Let's try to put damage on this guy here. Very nice. Seven. Actually, I say very nice, but it's, it's not actually enough. All right, we need to smoke grenade right here. And then we need to suppress. Still haven't managed to find a time to command. Last turn was totally wasted on the medic though, because we smoke grenade the snipers twice and it didn't actually do anything. But we need to suppress this guy. Really nasty. 
scout probably needs to take hits for the team right now. Actually, if you could do damage to this guy, that would be pretty valuable too. Ah, uh, but any of those positions are dead. Mm. Dang. There. Yeah. Too bad. The hit. All right. So this is the in the zone sniper, but there's not a lot of targets that actually proc in the zone this turn. I can kill some floaters in the back. That's not all that interesting. That's probably what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna be floater, floater, that guy. Let's start with the floaters. Yeah, I might. I mean, what's the? I do 11 damage. He's not shredded. I'd have to crit. It's only a 30%, 7% chance to crit. It's not gonna be enough. So we can't start with him as much as we'd like to. So it's gotta be the floaters. That one will work. Flying, yeah. All right. And we reload at the start of this turn because we screwed up our in the zone from last turn. So, okay, you, you're next. Okay. That's a freebie. Okay, out of ammo now, it's got to be a reload. Turn. I think it ends my entire turn. Okay. We're gonna lose the infantry this turn, uh, Joker's gonna die this turn, and maybe Bulldog. Grenading. That sucks. The grenade too, that hurt. 11 and 12. This is the infantry dead. Oh, no, he's shooting at the wrong sniper. Okay. Very surprised. They haven't killed the infantry yet. It's really too bad my rocket's not here. Because if I could clear out this cover, the end of zone sniper could kill like half these. What? They didn't kill anyone? Alright. Titan armor. Doing wonders. 92. That will be the first shot we do. Only 7. Alright. So we might be able to kill that. 97% chance to hit. 11 damage. It's flying. Alright. Take that. Good. Okay, it's still flying. What else? That mechtoid left. That mechtoid's a big problem. You can actually see it with heat. It's not currently getting buffed. Might be a good round to try to get that down. It's a lot of shit left here, though. And that other floater really needs to die because he's still got a heavy floater. I mean, still has a grenade. This guy might. The War Master might even have another grenade. They sometimes have two. It depends on their perks, right? Let's have a look. The one. So he actually doesn't have grenades. Alright, uh, what's Joker got? Any of these are dead that he shoots. Kind of need to kill this guy. Is he still shredded? Still shredded. This is probably the last turn he's shredded to. Alright. Unfortunately, we can't force a crit here, and it's only a 70% chance that it crits naturally. So we'll try that, but we need him dead. Okay, we did crit naturally for 28. Perfect. Okay, it's not quite in range. I don't think that's in range of the Gauss. Let me think about that. The heat Gauss. Let's take a look. Be really nice in the zone. This it says it's gonna do 10 with no crit before Shredder. Shredder's 33% damage, and we have heat. Uh, I'm gonna roll on that. Yeah. No, well, we actually got a crit, but I don't. What would that be beforehand? Um, 19. So crits are 50%, so what is that? We're talking about somewhere around like what, 
11 or 12. 12 would be 18. Did I and three damage absorb? We actually hit it for 21. Actually, even higher than that. Okay, so we were probably within the range for that. All right. What's next? Okay, we don't have any more in the zone shots available to us because everything else is in cover. So the next shot is the final shot for Tsui for this round. Actually, I could reload on Tsui first and then shoot, right? Has he reloaded already or not? Is this a yellow move or a blue move? Where's his movement points? What color are they? I think they're blue still. So I think he can reload still. Alright, we'll probably do that. Alright, Gemma Curve got grenaded. Um, we need to kill this thing over there. Yeah, maybe we can do that. Yeah, maybe. Let's go here. I'm on the move. Take a shot there. We actually hit too. Nice. What does that leave him at? That is actually in the zone shot if it connects. If we kill that. Pistol. It's actually pretty good odds. 72. We need damage on this guy if we're going to get him close enough for Tsui to kill. We actually crit on that too. 8% crit him. Alright. He's at 10. Uh, I think he's slightly above the health we need still. Can we see him? There's 9. And it won't be a crit. We need one more damage on that guy. That's a little unfortunate. Uh... Here's Bulldog. Has to shoot him then. Can't see him, just shoot him, doesn't matter. 68, 68, 53. Alright, let's roll there. No, we're not there, there. Reload, shoot, shoot again. Alright. Let's reload. Shoot there. Oh, it actually went for 12. Nice. Okay. And zone shot. Let's try this guy. Alright. What's left? Have Captain Aramis left now. This War Master is still being a huge pain. Alright, let's smoke here and suppress him one last time. Alright, go, go, covering fire. There's still a million sectoids left. I didn't even check what was left on the list. I should have checked. Okay, there's the shot. There's the covering fire. I don't really want covering fire with this guy. It's too bad. I wanted it wasted on the, the muton in the back. Who's like this? Okay, missed. Nice. Hits. Come on, miss us too. He's, he's in kill range. Okay, he missed us. Dense smoke. Excellent. They're ignoring the snipers for some reason. We'll see if... Oh, wow. I thought he was going to live through that. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we just failed our first panic checks. So that's probably the squad wipe. Who panicked? Was that Joker or Tsui? Oh, now we're getting grenaded, too. There goes the corpse. No, didn't do anything. Alright. Uh, it was Tsui who panicked. That's my in the zone sniper. It sucks. Alright, so it's just Bulldog, basically. Yeah, and Joker's out of ammo. Okay, we just lost our command. We never got a chance to use that. Still in smoke? No, smoke just left. We're not in smoke. Not ammo. Okay, no smoke, no ammo. Starting to get a little sketchier. Um. This guy really needs to die. Okay, that was 
are around. Problem is we don't have anything to stop this war master from going ape shit. He had to reload. He's been tired of shooting us. Just covering fire. Is it gonna be enough? I think. I think this is uh, to see getting hit. Nope. Fifty fifty. They missed. Okay. Sentinel. Oh, he's shooting Joker. That's gonna be a death on Joker. Seventy-seven percent. It almost certainly is a death on Joker. Okay. Joker's down. Too bad we got that reload off, but it wasn't enough. All right. What do we have out of ammo here? So last round we panicked, and this round we're out of ammo. Oh, but we have um, lock and load. Okay. And Tsui's here as well. All right. His round. Bulldog. Shoot here. Good. I should have uh, Overwatch first. Let's move closer. Overwatch, or not Overwatch, um, all target here. Alright, and let's have a shot. There. Okay, just this fucking ridiculous guy left. Well, and the sectoids that aren't in range. Nice. Also nice. Oh, we just... No, Bulldog panicked! He's been holding the whole team together. I was second panic over there. That's from uh, Captain Irma's bleeding out. Alright, two sectoids, two floaters, and with one heavy floater up. Tsui's out of ammo, and there's too many hit points to kill. And two other people are panicked. That's really not what we want. We need this guy to stay in place, too. We're gonna have to overwatch on the scout. Reload here. Take a shot. Okay. We need this guy not to push forward. He's got close encounters, so if he goes forward, we're really screwed. Okay. Oh, he just one shot our guy, our sniper. Okay. Oh. Alright, Bulldogs need to unpanic this turn over. Or our dreams are gonna get crushed. Okay, another hit. Yeah, it's too bad Kuba wasn't on this mission. This is our low level Overwatch medic, or Overwatch, uh. Okay, actually we do have everybody here. Alright, let's uh, hold target. This guy's gotta die. He's doing so much damage. Oh, this is our last round here. Fuck, that sucks. Oh no, it's a miss! Alright, um, it's Overwatch here. We have covering fire. Two more people bleeding out. Oh, 74% because he's in white cover. Oh no, it's probably Bulldog done. Yep. Alright. Why we chose to abort. That was uh, three packs of uh, eight that aggroed. So we killed that first group of seven on the first turn. Then we waited. There was one turn of nothing, and then the turn after that. Uh, oh wow, your gravely wounded go with you. Oh, if they died in the evac zone, huh? Um, and then there were four packs of like eight, or three packs of eight that aggroed immediately afterwards, and another pack of eight that aggroed right after that. So, okay. we didn't wait. It's fine. We we have a safe. Like the the whole point of that was we are going to evac. 
chat wanted to see what would happen if we played it out. So let's 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 leave. You guys see the, how powerful in the zone is, though, right? For those missions, like it's just so good when you're getting swarmed. So this is before everything, right? Yeah, this is the turn where everything aggroed. Okay. So this is the turn that we can leave. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I right, so hope everyone can get on board. Yeah, no problem. Best part is I don't even have to up the reload counter. It's the best part of this. This is definitely. I, I'm, actually, I don't know if this is definitely a, a trap landed or not. It has. It reeks of a trap landed to me. The squads are really heavy and really big. Okay. Uh, that's a blue move. Maybe. the command left in case he was one tile out of range, but he wasn't. What do we have left? We have one shot, two shots, just two shots. Can we kill anything? Almost assuredly not. in that map, that map was unmanageable except the sheer numbers that aggroed all at once. There's just no way we could handle that. Even if we had like the best squad available, I don't think we'd have been able to handle those numbers. Alright, that's fatigue wounds unfortunately. Okay. And we got a sec the body wreck. Somehow we had time to recover the wreck and like get it on board. Uh, and unfortunately they do get their landed large worth of resources, but oh well. Alright, spin the wheel. It's kind of a fun little like aside, right? Like what would happen if we tried to fight that? It was going pretty well on the first turn and decently on the second turn after they missed all their shots on the snipers. But then when that rocket missed, I'm just like, uh oh, <laughs> game over. After that rocket did not kill the mech toy, the mech toy got another shot, it just became pretty ridiculous. You would have you would have kept that mission? I wouldn't have. Alright. Uh what are we doing? Spinning the wheel? Starting to avenge, they're fine, Cork. Everyone's still fine. One more. Alright, Silabs. Didn't the rocket miss everything? No, it killed some it killed some cover for some mutons, but it missed uh, missed all the important bits. I mean the whole reason why we were shooting it was because it was a heat rocket. Uh on uh, on the mech toids, and we wanted to kill both mech toids that turn. It just, but it missed it missed the really important bit, which was doing heat rocket damage to mech toids. Yeah, that's a good point, Lobanez. The problem is it's really hard to hit. Sh I mean, if you're not planning on using a shadow device, it's pretty damn hard to hit that realistically, right? I'm gonna have snipers flying up in one direction, everybody spread out to cover. Otherwise, if it takes me a whole action. To move every like or two actions to move everybody into a position where I can shadow device, nothing changes in the turn, right? So, anyways, um, honestly, I I think it, on the landed largest, sometimes you just uh, get screwed. Anyways, I need a sonic testing. What was I testing? One more finished. Nice. Uh, Wick's not ready. Do I want to make some gunner psionics? A 
maybe. More Rocketeers of Psionic. Probably better wait on fatigue for a little bit. All right. Eighty six Illyrian back, amazing. What can I do with that much Illyrian? I can almost buy another EMP cannon. Okay, so I have four EMP cannons. How many actual? One. Two. Three. I have five. I do have five uh, firestorms. I actually need another EMP. All right. 120. Two Illyrium shy. All right. When the shadow device finishes, that probably gives us two Illyrium back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need to equip them. Plant enhanced plasma. Should I get enhanced plasma or more of these EMP cannons? You guys told me that EMP cannons are better than plasma can and plasma weapons are taking shit down. Yeah, I do need to equip the weapons, don't I? Oh, I, I know, Blue RJ, I know what you meant, the Foundry Project, and I want that too, but I wanted to have an EMP cannon available for each of my uh, Firestorms. funny because I don't really want I don't really want any mission slowness I don't want them at all I was just told it had a better it had higher armor penetration so I had a better chance of shooting down the, the overseers which is why I'm building them at all uh, stingray missiles huh Probably get another interceptor. How long am I next EMP? Seven days. Okay. Is it going to be overseer hunting? Overseer hunting time. I'm kind of getting close. I think. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but probably. I do want to get the Foundry Project for um, Enhanced Plasma. I think the next next time I have Illyrium, I think that will be the project to do, but I need to get those EMP cannons started so I can actually get them out. I don't know how many Firestorms I'm going to need for that. Uh, I think the damage numbers don't support that, Lobanez. I think the damage numbers are really... I mean, I can look them up right now. I'll look them up for you guys on stream and talk about it for a second. All right, let's go have a look at that page. It is the... Oh, Cork's got the numbers for me. So it is lower damage out of the EMP, but what's the added penetration? I just, man, I listened to you guys without reading it. I should have thought about that. Uh, is it weapons? Primary weapons. No. Okay, what's the what's the actual armor rating on? Okay, what we need to know then, now that we have that, I mean, because 
the numbers are actually kind of dumb when you look at the the way the inner armor interacts with this we need to see the details of the hit points of the units that we're shooting then to have any sense sense of the actual damage right so what are the alien ufos okay there they are fighter raider destroyer overseer has 40 armor okay and the abductor has 30 armor and harvester 20 transport 32 terror ship 25 Battleship 36, Assault Carrier 28. Okay. Hit points 8,000 on the Assault Carrier, 9,000 on the Battleship, 6,000 on the Terror Ship, 5,000 on a Transport, 6,000 on a Harvester, 4,000 on an Abductor, and 2,500 on a Overseer. So actually, Judging just from those numbers, hit point wise, with the amount of armor the Overseer had, that's going to be a pain in the ass. But judging from that, it looks like abductors and, and uh, terror missions, terror ships are actually not too ridiculous in terms of shooting down. Alright, we'll see. Alright, spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Meld for cash. No. 52. Oh my god, no. An NOE Raider. Get it? Get it! I want NOEs. We already had a trap large. We don't want. No, no, don't let it land! Don't let it land! We're in pursuit. Alright, there we go. Let's use a dodge module on that. I need to back up Asia. Um, transferring planes there right now. But yes, we do. Alright, what is this? Another medium. Is this still on the sixth? My god, this is another mission. Can I get a day of recovery? I don't even think I have a scout available right now. I do actually do. I have some sergeant scouts. I have Tariq's back. It's a net back. Ten hours and let's seek. Eighteen hours on this bigger scout. Twenty hours on the net. Nineteen hours on Tari. Okay, so we're probably gonna wait on them to become unfatigued. All right. Night matter. Fighter bombing Mexico. That is unacceptable. Enemy is padlocked. Closing on targets. Another fucking mission. Alright, how long?
I don't want to, I don't want more base assaults, Luminous. I want the aliens to starve for resources as they possibly can be for as long as possible. That's the only reason why I'm base assaulting at all. That and resources. Three hours and four hours. All right, that should be enough time if we go run the small first. Okay, do we have two scouts? Yeah, we do. Let's bring flaming narwhal. Uh, rocketeers. Okay, let's bring. Am I leveling rocketeers still? I feel like I am. There's spade. That works. We have Zach available now. How long on? 11 hours on jewelry. One day on Van Doren. Where's my fourth mech? One day on Zang. Aren't you still wounded, uh, Koopa? Oh, you're not. That's a good call. Well, the thing is, we have two missions we want to run. They're both finished relatively soon. Just for fatigue in general, you should start missions as soon as you have the guys to do them, so they can be off fatigue as soon as, or off the mission as soon as possible, and then be recovering fatigue from fatigue as soon as possible. The problem is, I don't really, I don't have a pathfinder for both of these missions, and I kind of want a pathfinder for both of these missions. I can wait on one. It's only eleven hours, but which one do I bring Jory on? The medium. I guess I'd bring him on the medium. I'd bring Zach on this one right now. All right. Okay. So that's Narwhal and Spade Mates and Zach and Lobanez and. like the great peon to level. It's kind of like mostly useless right now. He's just that one sweet level away from in the zone. Okay, bring him. An engineer. Ooh, DNA factor is ready to be side tested again. I should probably put him on fatigue first then. Okay, bring DNA factory. And Gunner of some sort. Who do we want? I'd like a damage gunner. Decent damage gunner would be really good. I don't even know if I have one. I might need to actually build another gunner. I promote one. Or different dots. It's not damage gunner at all. There's no accuracy. I'm gonna say AoE shredding was decent on when you're getting swarmed. Oh, we need medics. We're gonna be really short on medics for this.
Yeah. Alright, um... A bit worried about the damage on this team. Just to be just a little bit higher. I'm gonna bring Chad and carry with Chad. What does that leave for the next mission though? Both Zira and Chad are here. Alright, let's bring Chad. Ooh, doesn't have stealth either. Just a little profile, huh? Okay. Not a lot of smoke grenades. Yeah. All right, save. Small first. Touching down. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Bogey came down hard in a remote area just outside of a We're like town. one day away from Hyperwave Relay, which would be really, really nice. Know what the fuck we're going to be facing. 